Hey everyone, welcome back. If your iPhone is overheating after installing iOS 18.4.1, you are definitely not alone. The update may have triggered some background activity or app conflicts that heat things up. In this video, I'm going to talk about the 4 best tips and tricks to get rid of this annoying problem. That said, let's get started. So first and foremost, I would recommend you to disable the background app refresh on your iPhone. Know that when your iPhone gets updated, apps often run more processes in the background. To prevent overheating, just head over to the settings app on your iPhone. After that, choose general. Then you have to select background app refresh and then you have to select the off option. Then you have to restart your iPhone. This reduces processor strain and helps cool your device down. Then I will recommend you to check battery usage and remove all the problematic apps. To do so, you have to head over to the settings app on your iPhone. After that, you have to choose the battery option. And then you have to look at which apps are consuming the most power. Apps that are running constantly or using a lot of battery in the background could be causing your iPhone to overheat. So consider deleting or even reinstalling these apps if they seem unoptimized. Next up, I will recommend you to turn off location services for all the unused apps on your iPhone. Note that constant GPS usage can be a major heat generator. Therefore, make sure to take control of location services on your iOS device. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then you have to scroll down a bit and select privacy and security option. Then select location services. And then you have to limit access to apps that don't really need it. You can set apps to while using the app or never for better thermal performance. And finally, I will recommend you to update all apps on your iPhone. Note that some apps might not yet be optimized for iOS 18.4.1, leading to background bugs and overheating. To do so, you have to launch the App Store on your iPhone. Then you have to tap on your profile located in the top right corner of the screen. And then you have to scroll down to view all the pending apps and then you can choose to update all the apps at once or you can do it one by one depending on your preference and that's about it. So these are the best tips and tricks through which you'll be able to fix the iPhone overheating problem after the recent software update. Hopefully you have managed to get a better at this annoying problem and now your iPhone no longer overheats randomly. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, consider it and do subscribe for more such handy iPhone tips and tricks and I'll catch you up in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.